Working out and getting fit can be straightforward, but sometimes there can be some confusion around how to work out. What are you supposed to do when you get to the gym? Do you pick up a barbell or do you run? Where do you even start? There are many resources for getting fit, having that lean body and working out, and there are different programs for different goals. Some routines are for building muscle, some are for burning fat, both are different, but in this video, we'll discuss the best workouts for you that combine the two. So stay tuned. Try starting with a traditional compound exercise, like squats. Exercises for lower body muscle strength and flexibility are not confined to the lower body alone, but can engage your whole body, giving you core stability and training the back. Doing squats is pretty simple. Keep your feet shoulder width apart or wider. Extend your hands straight in front of you for balance. Hold them at chest level or place them behind your head. Then bend at your knees and hips, sticking your buttocks out like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. After that, lift your chest and head, neutralize your spine, and guard your low back by not rounding your spine. Then lower your hips so your knees are over your ankles, and keep your weight back onto your heels to avoid pressure on the knees. Keep your body tight and push through your heels, focusing on using your glutes to bring yourself back to the starting position to reduce strain on your lower back. This is one rep. Begin with three sets of eight to 15 repetitions and then increase over time. If you're on a weight loss diet, you must try fat burner and weight loss supplement apple cider vinegar capsules. It has a powerful weight loss fat burning formula, quicker fat burning with extreme weight loss. It's an exogenous ketone supplement that'll help get you into a ketogenic state faster, which means you'll burn your fats quicker. The Keto Beta Hydroxybutyrate BHD formula helps increase blood ketone levels that support weight management and act as an appetite suppressant. Supplementing your body with ketones may help boost your energy levels, improve mental and physical performance, and support metabolism. A keto diet has been shown to support easier weight management and overall health wellness. Add this to your workout plan. You can find the link in the description below. Add a bench press to your regimen to burn upper body fats. The bench press helps you burn fat and build many muscles in the upper body. It can be done regularly using weight appropriate barbells, dumbbells, or specialized bench press rack as part of your upper body workout. To do a bench press, lie on a workout bench under a rack which holds the bar with your eyes aligned with the front of the barbell rack uprights. Your buttocks, shoulders, and head should be flat on the bench with a neutral spine. Your feet should be flat on the floor and a bit wide apart. It would be best if you kept your shoulder blades behind you to save from pressing with rounded shoulders. Get the barbell with an overhand grip with your thumbs outside your closed fists. Keep your arms wider than shoulder width apart and at an angle of your upper arms 45 degrees to the body. With your elbows locked, remove the barbell from the rack. Breathe in a while, lowering the bar towards your chest. Breathe as you push the bar above your chest by extending your arms. Keep your focus on the ceiling, not the bar, and lower the bar to just above the chest as the first position for another bench press. Once you've finished your reps, place the bar back on the rack with elbows in a locked out position and move back slowly until you feel the rack upright, following which you must lower the bar and let the barbell rest. Kickstart this with two sets with eight to 15 repetitions and increase the sets and weight as you feel stronger. Challenge yourself with a bent over row. This is one of the finest fat reducing and muscle building exercises for your back and lower back. Select a challenging weight without sacrificing form when incorporating this exercise into your workout. To do it perfectly, stand with your legs shoulder width apart with your knees gently bent. Then hold a dumbbell in each hand, shoulder width, with your palms facing each other. Bend over at an exact 45 degrees angle and take a deep breath. Pull the dumbbells towards the sides of your chest or to the bottom of your rib cage and breathe out. Then lift them to the point that your range of motion allows by keeping the wrists from moving as much as you can and lowering the weights in a measured manner to the starting position as you breathe in. You have to remain bent over until all of your repetitions are complete. You must do three sets and eight to 10 repetitions to get the desired results. Let's hop into some heavy muscle building exercises like push-ups with weights. 
The only difference between traditional and weighted push-ups is that weighted push-ups involve putting weight on your back. Weighted push-ups are a fantastic exercise that strengthens and grows the chest, shoulders, and triceps. You can start with a small weight plate and slowly work your way up to put on heavy weights. To do it, get into a push-up position on your knees or tabletop position, then reach behind you and put the weight on your back. After that, carefully extend your legs into a push-up position and do a set of push-ups. After completing, slowly return to a push-up position on your knees and remove the weight from your back. You can start with two sets of five to six push-ups daily and rest for one minute in between sets. Gradually increase the number of reps and sets as you grow stronger. When you feel confident and comfortable to move on to something more challenging, you can start doing completely elevated weighted push-ups by getting into a push-up position on a high, sturdy surface like boxes or a platform. You must ensure that the weight is secure, like with a weighted vest, and then do a set of push-ups. Try doing arm raises with weights with push-ups for the entire upper body workout. As a primary weight training exercise, arm raises with weights are excellent for building strength and well-marked shoulders. While you stand with your feet shoulder width apart, keep your arms hanging in front of you and hold dumbbells in front of your thighs. Your palms should face the thighs, your back should be straight, your feet must be flat on a surface, and you should be engaging your abdominal muscles. Take a breath and lift the weights upward. Extend your arms, palms facing down, with a slight elbow bend to reduce joint stress. Pause for a second when your arms are horizontal to the floor. Then, lower the dumbbells to the first position at your thighs with a slow and controlled motion while breathing. To start, you can do two to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions and then, with time, increase the weights and sets. The front raise mainly strengthens the shoulder muscles and works the upper chest. It can only help tone your shoulders, define the fronts and sides, and build your overall strength. Are you looking to strengthen your lower body muscles? Try a dumbbell lunge. The dumbbell lunge is a lower body muscle strengthening exercise that can increase hamstring, quadricep, and glute strength. It can also help improve coordination and balance and pattern the joint movements for everyday locomotion like walking, running, sprinting, and climbing steps. To perform dumbbell lunges, you'll need space where you can take one giant step. Then choose dumbbells of weight, and if you're a beginner to this exercise, start with light weight. Stand up straight with a dumbbell in both hands and hang your arms at your sides. Your palms should face the thighs and feet slightly less than shoulder width apart. Take a breath and then take a big step forward with your right leg, landing on the heel. After that, bend at the knee until the right thigh touches parallel to the ground. Your left leg should be bent at the knee and balanced on the toes in the lunge position. Then step the right foot back, breathe out to return to the initial position and repeat the same with the left leg. You can start with two to three sets and eight to 12 repetitions on each side and then slowly increase the intensity for more effectiveness. Cardiovascular training also plays an essential role in fat burning and muscle building. You can do sprints as a cardiovascular exercise. For beginners, we recommend a light jog for 50 seconds, then a sprint for 10. Repeat this pattern at least five times. Have you heard about workouts to tone muscles? People generally don't have a proper idea of what toning means. Toning up is a myth. So what do people mean when they say they wanna get leaner and build muscle? It means do high intensity interval training workouts a combination of exercises at a great intensity for a short time with little rest recovery, unlike jogging on a treadmill for an hour. With your workouts, you can also add swimming, running, boxing, or cycling at least three times a week for 30 to 40 minutes. In terms of picking up what kind of activity to do, it's always great to have a nice mix of workouts throughout the week. Some high intensity training, some weights, some mobility work, and some recovery. Combined, these workouts can help you build the muscle that you're looking for while maintaining good cardiovascular health and flexibility. Remember that burning fat is not easy and putting on muscle is even more difficult. You must keep your routine in check and stay motivated for your desired goal. There are other ways to get strong and lean. Check with a professional trainer before starting any workout plan. In the end, if you set out to get fit, nutrition, training, and rest are critical and achievable. Want to learn more? 
Watch eight exercises for men that will transform your body in just four weeks, or get rid of love handles quickly with these seven exercises. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and keep the conversation going. What workouts are you adding to your routine? Let us know in the comments below.